Well, unless you've been living on a rock, you may have seen or heard about these robot vacuums. Basically, they're little hockey puck shaped devices that go around your floor plan. They can vacuum, they can mop, and basically make your life easier, especially in a chaotic world where you don't have time to do these chores. So, if you're trying to figure out what's the best robot vacuum for you, well, you may want to look at the ZZZ70. It's a newer company, but they offer a lot of features in their robot vacuums. For stars, they offer the longest battery life, around 240 minutes. Also, this particular model could vacuum my shag rug. Yes, no lie, this guy was able to get on top of my shag rug and vacuum it. No other well, vacuum I tested besides like the 360 S9 was able to do this. Hello, how's it going? It's Nathan here. Alright, so show me a raise of hands how many people like to vacuum, how many people like to mop. Yep, out of the two viewers, I see nobody. Oh, hey, mom and dad, how you guys doing? I know you guys are the only ones that watch my videos. All right, so today we got the Suzy C70. This cool little well, vacuum will handle all those tasks, make you super lazy, but that's a good thing because we have a very basic lifestyle and we don't have time for such nonsense. All right, so on the box, we got the Royal Vacuum and it's not showing the scale. The Royal Vacuum is larger in real life. I will show you that in a bit. Okay, so we got super large battery life. So what they mean by that is it actually has 240 minutes, which is 4 hours of battery life. Also, you got ultra strong suction, about 3,500 pascals, and that precision lighter navigation. So this little dummy thingy houses the lighter navigation, which allows you to map out your floor plan and do some cool app features, which I'll show you in this video. And lastly, we got 2-in-1 vacuuming and mopping. So yes, you can make your floors extra sparkly clean. Okay, so it's not all fairy dust and magical unicorns. Uh, the downside is this box is very plain. Looks like Susie just got out of the dumpster, so hopefully they can give me a nice colorful box next time. So let's just get that out of there. Look, it matches. Yep, the same size. Alright, so this is the ZZ Z70. I really like the paint scheme. It's kind of like a bluish hue. And we got the uh, power button right here to return to home. And the dummy thing is the line of navigation. Let's go ahead and open up the flap of it. And check this out, guys. We got this nice little cleaning tool. So, ladies, you can do your makeup, do your eyelashes, and men, well, you can do the same thing. I'm not judging. Also, you got this nice little dust box. So, they call it the 2-in-1 dust box. Basically, you got a water tank right here, and you got the dust tank below. So, yes, you can vacuum and mop at the same time. Alright, so one thing to note is this guy does have the sonar navigation. So, what that does is it helps uh, navigate various obstacles, and once it detects it, it just go around the obstacles. Did a pretty good job. And off to the left here is the little... Wall sensor does a pretty good job going on the walls, and you got your exhaust vent, your speaker, and your charging contacts. So yes, this will have vacuum charges from the rear, and this is your physical bump sensor in the front. All right, let's go and get this guy flipped over. So check it out, guys. You got your dual uh, extractor bars, or what do you call it? The side brushes. You got your front wheel caster, and if I can count, you got I think four cliff sensors. So this guy doesn't take a nice tumble down your stairs, and you got this little plate here held on by two screws. Beneath that plate or underneath the plate, basically you got the rechargeable battery which you can replace. 5200 milliamp hour battery for 4 hours of runtime. Mind blowing. Alright, so here's to look at the extractor board. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So as you can see, it does collect some hair, but luckily you got that nice cleaning tool. So it makes it very nice to uh, clean off the extractor board. And lastly, you got the nice adjustable wheels. I have noticed that this guy likes to climb over everything. He was able to get on my shag rug without any issues. I was just mind blown how uh, this was able to do that. Okay, let's go and uh, take a look at the TV here. All right, so this is the actual robot vacuum and you can see it does work with iPhone or Android. And let's just go down here. So here's the price, 399 You can probably find some discount. I'll put the links down below. And yes, they take basically everything, PayPal, uh, credit cards. You can use Apple Pay, uh, you can use Amax. I don't know what that is, but basically use a kid's piggy bank, the IOU statements, they basically pick everything. Even GPay, what? Who uses Google Pay anyways? Alright, let's go, let's go down here. So you got light navigation, 28 sensors. Also that 5200 milliamp hour battery. And there's some anti-collision. So yes, furniture, uh, small pets, children, this thing won't run over. Also, it has smart virtual boundaries. So within the app, you can actually set rooms, areas, and it will back and won't go in those areas or uh, try to back in those areas. Okay, you also have anti-drop. And we have powerful suction. So you can go down to 1,000 pascals, up to 3,500 pascals. And one cool thing is this thing does support the 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi's. All right, so that's something very unique. Most of these world vacuums only support 2.4 gigahertz networks. All right, so there's that line of navigation. You do have multi-functions. Um, I'll show you that little bit of the app. And 
you can see that large battery and there's the processor and dimensions so very very cool so let's go now get the robot back and turned on i'll show you the app to get the robot on you just press this little power button right here wait a few seconds So that beeping noise means that it's off the ground. I am ready. Pulse is mounted. Let's go up here. We'll jump into it's easy. Alright, so this is the main interface. Uh, one thing to note is I like the fact that they show you the area of time right on the actual interface. Now, if you start to swipe to the right, you can actually add a new device. Or if you don't have a CZ, you can actually go and buy one. They only sell two models currently, the Z50 and the Z70, which is their latest model. All right, let's go to uh, jump into that. So here's a look at the map here. So you can see that the map is uh, pretty simple, but it works fairly well. And it kind of shows you kind of like the orientation of the robot right here. See that little arrow, and this is a charging dock. So if you select the more, which is right here, you can see you got that smart partition which allows it to do an area select. Also, you can draw an area. So that's kind of cool. So if you have like a pooch that's kind of sitting in a certain area, you can actually go around him and uh, draw. You also have zone clean, you got restricted. You also have virtual wall and spot clean. So there's a lot of quick toggles right on the app, which is nice. Also, one nice thing is you can do a grid pattern or you can do Z. So with grid pattern, you actually do one direction and then go the other direction as well. Okay, you can also change the uh, power levels here. And you got four of them from 1,000 pascals up to 3,500 pascals. And lastly, we got the settings, which are up here. Let's go and select into it. So you can update the firmware, which is automatic. You also have cleaning history. Let's jump into that. So the robot back and we'll track how long it took and how big the area was. So here's an example of one of the areas I cleaned with this video. You can see that I drew an area out and it kind of shows you uh, exactly where the path was. So that's actually cool. They kind of took an extra step and show you exactly where the robot vacuum went. Okay, let's go jump back into here. So you also have schedule cleaning. Um, basically, you can have the robot vacuum go out when you want to. So let's just show you a demonstration. So if I wanted to go out at, let's say 12.15, I just select OK. Also, I could tell how long I want to do. Unlimited is the four hours by life, but I can actually shorten it if it's a small area. Also, if I jump back in here, I can do smart partitioning and I can actually select a certain area I want to walk back into clean. So I like they did a pretty good detailed uh, schedule. Uh, one unique thing is you have kids mode. So for example, you have a little one, uh, instead of just pressing the button and activating the robot, they actually have to hold it down. So you can actually enable that. So that's pretty cool. Or pets that like to sit on the robot vacuum, uh, they don't actually uh, enable the function. Alright, so you do have carpet boost, so you can enable that, so on carpet it would boost up the suction. Uh, you also have find my robot vacuum. I am here. So if you want vacuum nice to play hide and seek, you do have the option. Also, you can uh, load multiple maps up to five, and it's pretty easy to save. You can actually just load map, delete map, or you can change the name. So I like that you can uh, save multiple maps. And you can also clear the map, uh, you got help, share device, and you can un device so that was just a quick look at the application it works pretty well okay let's go and wrap up this video i'll give you my pros and cons about the zz z70 so what i like about it is the very long battery life so i did run this guy for about an hour on its max power mode and i still have about 60 percent battery life remaining so i suspect you get about two hours of runtime on its max power mode and probably close to four hours on its low power mode so how they achieve this is they actually lower the suction so it's about a thousand pascals so that's just something to consider um, so one downside is the side brushes do kind of scatter the debris around, so I do recommend selecting the grid pad, which allows the robot vacuum to go in both directions, which is a nice plus. Also, this robot vacuum is kind of loud, around 70 decibels, so if you're trying to eat dinner or sleep, kind of put the robot back on its low power mode. So with the app, overall it's a pretty good app. I didn't have any issues with connecting with my Wi-Fi router. It does support the 5 GHz networks. Also, the world vacuum itself is a pretty good cleaner. Now for the mopping, uh, just keep in mind it's really designed for the light mopping task. Um, it's not really designed for heavy stains. But as you can see, I was able to pick up a lot of dirt and debris. And I like the fact that it comes with two dustbins. So if you happen to rinse out the first dustbin, you can actually use the second dustbin and keep going without having to wait for it to air dry. Alright, so have a great rest of your day and thanks so much for watching. You guys be safe out there. See you later.